Hey guys and welcome to today's video where today I wanted to give you a bit of a sneak peek on what I plan to do with Diego's tank. Not only will he be getting an upgrade, he'll also be getting a DP projector and I'll be making his tank bioactive. But first, I want to quickly talk about my current tanks. So, uh, basically, a lot of people ask me where I get these wooden vivariums from. Diego and Gizmo's tanks are actually unbranded. Uh, Ziggy and Minis are by Viv Exotic. Wooden vivariums are extremely common and easy to find in the UK, but they seem to be particularly difficult to find in the US for some reason. And all I can say really is if you're looking for something like this, your best bet might be to just Google wooden vivarium and see if any shops near you sell them because I don't know specific shops in the US that sell wooden vivariums. Now, of course, I do like the wooden vivarium style, but I also see the appeal of glass tanks. However, if I were to design my ideal tank, it would probably be like a vivarium style tank. So the sides are like opaque glass windows at the front. But I would prefer to have a mesh lid. The reason being is if you've ever seen any of my installs of lights or heaters, it's such a pain to install them in wooden vivariums. Like even my deep heat projectors and Ziggy and Minis tank, I've had to drill a hole in the top. Whereas with mesh lids, you literally pop it on top. Of course, a downside to a mesh lid is it can block up like block out a lot of light sometimes quite a significant amount so if you're using uv for example you definitely need a reflector uh, when using a mesh lid to ensure as much light as possible is pushed down into the tank anyway basically a little while ago i was approached by custom reptile habitats about a tank that they've been working on for a while right and this one is particularly good for leopard geckos. Um, they designed it with leopard geckos in mind and they wanted to know if I'd be interested in trying it. Now, initially I thought I'd have to wait until I've moved out and I have a reptile room of my own and I have more space to upgrade the tanks. But buying a house in England, especially in the county I live, it's not only extremely difficult, but it's also extremely expensive. Um, so... Me moving out might not happen until next year or even the year after, sadly. Um, so, instead of putting off for that long, because I really do want to upgrade the tanks, I did say, you know what, I'll give a tank a go, I'll find some space for it in my room, and, you know, we'll see how it goes, because it is pretty big. So basically, the one I'm looking at is called the Maximum Reptile Essential 3 PVC in Aluminium Enclosure. I can't even say aluminium. Aluminium? Is that how you say it? I prefer how people say aluminium, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna be honest. Um, over here we meant to say aluminium, but I hate it. I would prefer to say aluminium. Anyway, it is 3 foot by 2 foot by 2 foot with an internal floor space of 5.59 square feet and it's approximately 80.15 gallon. So it's pretty massive. Uh, it can also come with a hood to hide all of the lights and heaters, you know, all the electrical stuff. So I think that will look really nice and neat. Um, and also what's really handy is there's like a five inch base so there's plenty of room for a drainage layer and soil so it's a great choice for bioactive tanks. I've seen quite a few people have tanks built for them and they have little to no space for substrate um, which is not ideal for a bioactive tank so this is definitely a really good option. I do actually have a discount code for you guys if you are interested in this kit or another one. I'll link the two kits below. But basically, if you use the code LeopardGeckoTalk on either of the two kits, you can get 10% off. And this is actually the only discount on their site, I believe. So I feel very special. And I feel like this might be coming across a little bit like an ad, but I just wanted to be like 100% transparent with you guys and just be like, I'm working with these people on it. I've spoke to them for a while. I know their passion for reptiles and everything and the amount of research that goes into this so I like to support companies that put the reptiles first and um, I'm super excited to try out this tank as well but um, yeah you may be also wondering why is Diego getting the upgrade out of like all of the geckos um, 
I would have preferred to give it to Gizmo just because she is the oldest, but I hate Diego's current setup. Like, if you remember when I was putting it together, I used expanding foam, like some sort of sand to add texture, fake rocks, real rocks, just on the background that is. And yeah, it was a different style of making a background for a leopard gecko, and I hate it. Um, Diego even uses the rock at the top of the tank where I can barely even get my hand and he will poop in that little area so it's extremely difficult to thoroughly clean it so that's another reason I hate it. To me it just seems really cluttered and um, I thought putting rocks higher up would be cool because he can climb on them and he does climb on them as I said he goes to the toilet um, but it just makes the entire tank seem so small and yeah, I hate it. So I can't wait to give him more room and he can get the DP projector and he can have a bioactive tank. So yeah, I'm really excited about this, but I do eventually want to do this for the rest of my leopard geckos. Now I'm going to be honest, this isn't going to be super cheap. Uh, I don't expect people who are just getting into owning a leopard gecko to go for this big bioactive tank. I mean, even for me, this is daunting. I think it's completely normal to start off with a more basic setup and gradually upgrade as your confidence as a keeper grows, as your ability to build these tanks grow. Um, I still feel a little underqualified to do a bioactive leopard gecko tank. I think because there isn't tons of information out there. Like if you were doing an arboreal tank, there's loads. If you do have sort of, you know, good articles or things like that or uh, Facebook groups or forums that talk about leopard gecko bioactive tanks, link them below. I'd love to check them out. But yeah, if you're really passionate about your reptiles, you want a nice big display tank that's bioactive and you kind of want to spoil your reptiles and upgrade like I'm doing, like if you're like me and pretty much all your money just goes back to your pets, then this is for you. Now, I'm not 100% sure when this tank will arrive, hopefully before the new year, but we will see. But once it is here, if you like, I can do a whole sort of setting up video because I do, I think you have to put it together when, once you get it so I could do that we can see what it looks like in person and what it comes with I do also have supplies for a bioactive tank coming so if you'd like to know what you may need when buying a bioactive tank for a leopard gecko I can do a supplies haul for that the items should be with me fairly soon so yeah leave a like if you want to see that video but yeah, I am super excited about this, a little overwhelmed just because it's so big and it's bioactive and I did try bioactive in the past, I failed, but there were two major elements I missed out on which was lighting and a drainage layer. So this time I'm going to do it properly, I'm going to hopefully not kill any succulents and I will take you guys along for the entire journey. So tank supplies, when I get the tank, when I set up the whole bioactive tank and when DA moves in but yeah uh, before I go I think this would be a great time to actually say I just want to say a massive thank you to the patrons of this channel because they help make things like this happen so Nathan Laura Jezebel April Freddie Aileen Pete Sarah Tracy Sabrina Kim Orgel Megan and everyone else over on patreon who supports this channel thank you so so much but yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video. All the links will be below if you want to check them out. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe and make sure those notifications are turned on. Usually they automatically set to like sometimes rather than always. So you sometimes might get notified, which is just really bizarre to me. Um, so if you want to get my videos in your feed every four days, make sure they're set to always. But thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye.